Are you gonna put those in your lunchbox? No. It is 6.07. We just woke up. And welcome to my full day of eating. Full day of eating. <laughs> you want a bite of this? Um, yes. I'm 12 weeks pregnant and I just started using Unisom last week. I use a half a tab at night with B6 and uh, it helps my nausea a lot, but I still wake up kind of feeling funny and super hungry. If you have ever been pregnant, you know what I mean. You wake up starving. But somebody told me that eating applesauce in the morning can help some of the indigestion issues that I've had. So I'm gonna try it today. <laughs> We're eating some unsweetened applesauce that I have. Right. It's delicious, actually. Usually right away in the morning, I make Letty's lunch, and while I'm doing that, I'll make us breakfast, and usually I have a piece of peanut butter toast. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that right now. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. I very, very like that applesauce. Peanut butter? Is that jelly? Butter? Jelly? Beep, 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 beep. Do you want to do? <gasps> Whoa. Usually in the morning, I focus on carbs because that's the only thing that tastes good, sounds good, doesn't make me want to bark. And then the rest of the day, the focus is protein for sure. But as soon as I get this in, then I feel a little bit better. It's like 7.06. I had probably like this much water. I always try to get water in early in the day because at night I just get like fuller and fuller and more indigestion and that kind of thing. So it's just a whole game of pacing out food and drink all day long. But Letty had some French toast sticks. They're like the Kodiak cake ones with protein in it. And I might have one of those, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> First though, we're gonna do coffee. I don't drink hot coffee right now because it just sounds disgusting and has sounded disgusting for weeks. Um, do you want another French toast stick? Well, you have your smoothie right there too. Well, we'll think about it, okay? But iced coffee always sounds good. So this is instant coffee powder, which you can make fun of me if you want, but it's ice and then just this ready to drink protein, um, which is just easy. Um, it's, just a, it's just the easy option. I'm all about easy right now. So this is my coffee. Uh, if I don't have coffee, I'll get a headache. Like right now I have a headache. Um, so that's primarily why I'm still drinking coffee, even though most of any coffee drink sounds just gross to me. <laughs> from that CrossFit workout, it was really hard. <laughs> well, I just tried to keep my heart rate down because it's very hot out right now. And then my friend Jenna, so I didn't do CrossFit when I was pregnant with Letty, so I have, this is like a whole new world for me. Obviously because I did CrossFit leading up to getting pregnant, like it's not a big deal that I keep doing it. It's always, you know, that's the recommendation is that whatever you were doing before, you can totally do during pregnancy. And then as you get bigger and your equilibrium changes, you know, you can decrease weights, decrease reps, and just listen to your body. Um, but anyway, uh, my friend Jenna said that it's actually more important to keep your um, body temperature down. So heart rate is important, but body temperature down too. So I was really, I need to focus on that now because it's so hot. As much as I don't want to eat right now, I'm like not starving. I definitely need electrolytes, definitely need hydration. So I'm gonna have a body armor and then doing a protein bar. I don't know how I made it on just a piece of toast and protein coffee. Maybe that was about all I ate before my workout, but we did it. And now we're just gonna focus on eating all day, right? I am going to get a quick pedicure. I'm so excited. I'm bringing apples with me, probably a cheese stick and some turkey sticks. I think that should be good. Maybe some crackers in here too. 
to eat when I'm there because I never go anywhere without snacks now or else you're in trouble. And I think Caroline's bringing me like a dragon fruit tea drink thing from Starbucks. So yeah, that's my snackaroo. Let's go on our toes down. So I got done with my pedicure. I drank my little dragon fruit coconut Starbucks and I ate all of my snacks. I stuck a little like made good granola. Um, I like little granola bites. Um, but today, where is it? Where's my firehouse subs? Where did it go? It's behind me. Anyway, apparently if your name starts with A, today you can get a free medium sub sandwich. So why not, right? Even though it kind of sounds mm, right now, I think I can do it. Some chippies, some sub sandwich, lots of meat. Let's go. I got it. I got it for free. Well, technically I spent like $5.47 or something because I got a drink and chips. So I've already pretty much eaten all of these. I chose baked because, you know, a little bit less fat in your life. Um, and then I got a turkey sub, which I didn't realize at Firehouse they like toast them all. That's like, I guess a thing. But I got an Italian sandwich, but I put extra turkey on it. I sw swapped out the ham for turkey. This is what she looks like and she looks amazing. So let's just try it out for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. I didn't want it before, but now it's good. With the pickle. Yup. So clearly I kind of give myself more freedom when I'm pregnant. But if you guys remember with Letty, like I gained over 60 pounds. I didn't, I kind of ate like what was comforting to me. And I want to try to do a little bit better this time. I don't mind if I gain 60 to 70 pounds again. Like I think my body naturally kind of does that. I'm going to let it do what it's going to do. But my focus is definitely on protein. Occasionally I'll track my macros to kind of like see where I'm at if I'm getting enough protein getting enough calories or too many i think right now i don't need any extra calories than normal but later on i'll probably add in like 100 to 200 more see what happens so we'll see at the end of the day where i'm at for macros hopefully i'm okay but that's it so it's three o'clock i ate half of this sandwich earlier when you guys saw me which was like one o'clock 130 I don't even remember so I'm gonna eat the rest of it yeah that's it it's like a vitamin water zero that I got so I'll probably finish this and then water honestly I have a hard time with water right now but I am gonna drink some or attempt to drink some for some reason like non-flavored water just kind of irks me right now so it has to be like really cold too it's just weird pregnancy's weird hello surprisingly i haven't eaten i don't know what's going on today i feel like i eat a little bit more than this by now but it's 5 53. letty's eating rice and pineapple and cottage cheese is it good uh-huh brad and i are having salmon and leftover green beans from last night with some coconut jasmine rice i think brad's gonna put teriyaki sauce on his salmon but i think i'm just gonna do lemon on mine. I love lemon. lemon. Yeah. I love lemon. Do you do? Uh -huh. Can I have it? Sure. Is it sour? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think, see, I mean, do you squeeze it? Yep, on your rice. You can squeeze it on your rice if you want. Yep, see the juices? Yeah. Yolo. Then try, try the rice that the juice is on. Okay. Yum. You like lemon? It's very sour. <laughs> it's very sour rice yeah. now. I need a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Aubrey is very upset that I was with another woman in her dreams last night, and we're st I'm still hearing about it. Just so y'all know. Yeah. Just next time, pick up your phone at 10 p.m. instead of being a little hood rat. On a dream. date with another woman. <laughs> There's actually a double date. Oh, okay. Anyway. Who was who was my com compadre, my accomplice? I don't know who it was. Who's okay. I don't know who the other guy was. Yeah. Just a dude. Okay. Maybe Josh Kreifels. <laughs> I like look like him on the back. All right. Anyway, it's seven fifteen, and I'm just a little bit hungry, and I needed like a little bit more protein, so I have a Kodiak waffle with 
peanut butter and then some yogurt on top. I don't really know if this is like a lot of protein, but it's something. <sighs> it's 8.15 and I'm having this Hint water. I didn't realize I had a couple more bottles of this, but like I said earlier, regular water is just not my thing. It like gives me the heebie-jeebies right now. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but this is so much better for some reason. And then I'm doing protein chips. I feel really not that great tonight, so maybe this will help me feel better, like some more hydration and salty food, I don't know. Maybe some pickle chips. <laughs> yeah, Brad got me pickle chips, which are so good. Get the pickle Doritos, okay? Just do it. Mm -hmm. And then mail them to me. Uh, this is the end of the video. I'll probably have, I think, Brett. Brad, Don't show Brad. your sweets. I know you'll be Brad, eating something. That's like shaking his head like, oh, is this the end of the video? But I'll put my macros like right here. Da, 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 da. I don't think I reached my protein goal of like around 140, but we'll see. I probably, I feel like I'm at like 100 or 110. Cheers. We'll let you know if you get any snacks. Yeah, at the end. But subscribe if you want to see me eat some sugar. And then like the video, comment anything you want except hateful stuff <laughs> welcome to the pickle chip blind taste test are you excited yes so we have three different bags of pickle chips we have the dorito tangy pickle chips we have the lays dill pickle and then we have the kettle cooked wrinkle cut dill pickle so Aubrey's gonna try all three. She's gonna rank them and see if she can guess what they are. Yeah, like you're not gonna be able to see. I'm just gonna put it in your mouth. Oh, okay. Can't wait for you to put it in my mouth. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Open them I need all to open up them, first. yeah. Close they are all, my eyes. They're all open. Close your eyes. Okay. I'll know by the texture of the chip which one is which, but. You think that. First chip. Open wide. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your thoughts. Pickle intensity. It actually is tangier than, I guess I can open my eyes. It's tangier than I thought it was gonna be because I know that's not the Dorito, um, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I would give it, <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm gonna rank them afterwards, okay? okay, okay. But yeah, All right, close pleasant. Your eyes. This is the biggest one ever. I can't even feel. Not as much tang. Like vinegary-ish. Mm, I got some tang on my lips. I don't know how. Maybe that was the other chip. I'm not as impressed. Who do this? You're gonna give me another lace or something. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, there is nothing like that pickly Dorito. It makes, so like, you know how spicy things are, like spicy Doritos are like, oh, it like burns my throat, burns my tongue. This is like a different, it's like a vinegar burn. It burns in the best way. <laughs> That's what so she said. Rank them or do whatever. Um, so obviously Doritos are first. Then it's the Lay's. Then it's the crinkle cut. Something about the crinkle cut has like this oily, so what was overwhelming the first, what was favorite the first chip flavor. That you ate? First chip was the lace. Yeah, <clears> but that one it was still pretty good. But Doritos mm -hmm. are elite. 